I want to share something that I just learned that I probably should have known a while back, but uh, nevertheless, I learned it, uh, so I want to pass that on. Sometimes when I go into Fix Central to look for a particular DSM or parser, I click on Microsoft Windows and I get nothing. Hmm. However, if I go and search for uh, uh, AWS, for example, I find a couple of uh, parsers. Uh, let's look at the, this one here on the, on, on the top. Cloud Trail from actually November this year. So a pretty recent uh, parser. The reason is that in Fix Central, you should find parsers or DSMs that are new, newer than the one that came with the ISO image for the latest version of Curator that you are looking in, in here, right? Uh, keep in mind also that if you have auto updates uh, enabled and you run periodically auto update, all the parsers, all the DSMs will be updated automatically. But uh, so now I want to sh also share something that I wasn't aware of. If I go and exp I, I went ahead and expanded the Curator CE ISO image. And if I go into on their post here, on their post DSMs RPMs, I find a list of very many DSMs. And as you see here, there's a cloud trail in here, but it's from July. It's not as recent. And that's why I was able to find the other one in Fix Central, because there's a newer. So you only find new stuff in Fix Central. And the list of uh, DSM that is in here is really big. Does this mean that all these DSM are installed in in CE? Not at all, because you, you, I mean the, the, the developers wanted to keep the CE version kind of light and, and not, not 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 having all these uh, DSMs that you may not need. So, couple of things. So, how do you know which DSMs are installed in your system? So if you issue this command in here, RPM, QA, and then pipe it, use a grep looking for DSM, you get a list of the DSMs that are installed in your, uh, in your system. So that's very easy to, uh, to determine. Remember that, that command. So let's say that you actually want to install a particular DSM. So all you have to do is wherever you put the ISO image, I, I put it in the temp directory, you issue a mount. So I'm mounting that ISO image on the slash media directory, which I had already created. If not, you create it again. Uh, ignore this system setup fail. That's something that I'm playing here and I broke some stuff here. Uh, so ignore that one. But all you have to do is actually uh, once you have that mounted, do rpm slash capital UVH, and then remember that I show you that when you expand the ISO image on the post DSM RPMs, and then you put the name of the actual uh, DSM that you want to install, and then that uh, it's going to be actually uh, installed. So you see, it's, it's actually installing. Again, ignore that system setup mes uh, fail message. That's it's not uh, part of uh, this. In fact, in this particular case, because I was trying this before, this uh, Cisco call manager was already installed, and the and the and the RPM is telling me that 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 uh, that I don't need to install it because it's already there. So again, reviewing. Let's uh, make sure that uh, keep in mind that in the ISO image there are very many parsers that are not installed, particularly in the CE version, but they are there and you can install it. Should you want to look for a newer version of it, you can actually go into Fix Central and you will find it. And remember that when you run up to updates, you don't have to worry about any of these because all these gets updated automatically. Special thanks to uh, my friends Vladimir Jeremy and Axel, uh, who actually pointed uh, this out to me today.